Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 2017 with Dicky Mac Speck in his second season. Just coming off a fantastic victory. <laughs> oh, it was so brilliant. It was so good. Uh, yes, but um, we have to work towards our next objective and try to make the best out of it. It won't be easy and may be impossible to do anything because if we take a look it is this one Vuelta Ciclista Catalunya and if we take a closer look then you will see oh, the horror show that it is not a horror show a massive horror show because this is not individual time trial this is actually team time trial and you know what that means. That means probably on 40 kilometers, probably five minutes lost on the competition because our team is just plain incompetent. And with five minutes lost, well, at least we, I guess we get a free pass on getting into an escape group, but I don't know if you really want that. Um, and yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Uh, that's also looking pretty good. And that's also looking pretty good, but I mean if you have five minutes lost because your team sucks, then what are you supposed to do about it? And the competition will be rather, rather hard in here. But there is a long way to simulate until then, and before that we actually have this little one here. This little shits and giggles thrown in for Dicky McSpeck. There are, there, there, there will be uh, cobbles, cobblestones in this one. And Dicky can play out his professional cobblestone mastery and his puncher abilities because there's this little hill, cobbled, cobbled hill. Maybe if we are placed well, we uh, might be able to do something about this. Another thing that is worrying is our tiredness curve. As you can see, going into the week where we have the Vuelta, the mini Vuelta, um, we are supposed to have a tightness of 72% and that is not really acceptable. We have a fitness rating of 98 effectively there. So that is lowered from 100 because of the tightness. And then we get the tightness penalty as well during the day. So the race day condition will be pulled down. So what I think I'm going to do is to pull this one down to a break and have a 96 with just 43% uh, tiredness instead. I think that might be better. All right, here we are, the shits and giggles race, and uh, we shall see how, how well we do. Uh, rain and six degrees. That's something he likes, or? Oh, preparation, he has, oh shit, he would have a minus two otherwise. We have lost our fitness peak, which is good. I mean, that was to be expected, and the earlier it resets, the earlier we can start to build up for the next one. Although we probably don't want to build up too early either. Um, anyway, yeah, let's let's ride this one. Are we in the, among the favorites? Um, why, why aren't we among the favorites? Now uh, that's the question. Uh, Dicky McSpeck sure is the favorite, the absolute favorite on a <laughs> on a cobbled climb section. Oh the shit. Oh the shit, it's raining. Hard day today. The rain is non -stop. Yeah, rain non-stop. Okay, and minus one. Race day condition. Ah, I mean, at least we... Oh, cobbled sections. 57. Make spec. This is probably the worst thing you can imagine. And no, today I'm um, not going to help anyone because look at these climbs. Isn't that... Great. I mean, potentially, if we place ourselves right, we might even uh, do something reasonable here. Although I'm probably uh, underestimating the competition. Because there's some real pros in here. So the day will be pretty easy. Apart from this little I section here, uh, where a there's a few more hills. And then the it is a little section. up and down here and there, but very shallow slopes. And then the these four laps with this major hill in uh, in the way. Cobbled hill, even. I really love these Northern Classic races. I was even uh, thinking about making a Northern Classic-based character because uh, they are just so unpredictable and fun and the race um, setup changes all the time. As in, you, yeah, you never know what happens, how the wind blows and uh, completely disrupts the whole race. <laughs> it's usually a lot of fun to uh, 
and uh, then how they are riding towards the end where it's even though it's flat it's all splitting up in tiny groups and no one really has any power left that's that's a lot of fun and why exactly do people give them like 13 minutes 13 minutes are you fucking kidding me 14 minutes are you are you trying to rail it in again at some point I think the uh, the peloton will just destroy itself yeah they're not riding they're not riding they just let them let them go there's something broken here something fucking broken here because that's not normal 18 minutes no they, there's no no way in hell they can they can get 18 minutes so Dicky rides now maybe that is what was missing and the advantage is still climbing of course because Dicky can't ride but um, so no one wants to win this race or everyone has someone in the front no, they're just not riding. Okay, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Like, yeah, okay. Okay, no, no, we're not racing today. I mean, why would we? 22 minutes. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, if that is the case, then I think Dicky will just go, uh, go it alone uh, at some point. Uh, maybe a few more kilometers before the end. Uh, unless they start chasing very soon. I doubt they will ever, because they are just... Uh, will the peloton even make it within the time limit? <laughs> it's crazy. Oh yeah, uh, Dicky. It's, it's probably Let's time for you to um, to go. To go. And attack. Whoop! There we go. Is anyone following? Nah. So let's ride away from them at a uh, slightly faster pace. 38 seconds, 1 minute, one fifteen. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, we are away. And now, let's pace ourselves. Uh, 65, maybe? Or just ride at 60. I mean, we're not going to ca catch anyone. So, riding at 60 might be the way to go, so that we refill some of our resistance. And I mean, we, we're basically guaranteed 8th place now. <laughs> it's amazing, but um, a, a nice uh, Sunday afternoon ride way of of testing out these cobbled sections. We got five minutes on the peloton, and there is the climb. Ah, oh, this one, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Uh -oh, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's see how much of this time, twenty-seven thirty. How much of that time we can make up for once we when we attack into one of these it's in such percentages that the strongest can create some gaps 16 falling behind a team leader is falling behind uh, 14% and Mech Spec is sure going full speed here Wow. Oh, okay center. over this it's one completely full speed and we made up um, no time whatsoever 10 seconds what no, Mechspec, why are you so shit at cobblestones? <laughs> at least this is not quite as dangerous as riding in the pack. Just look at all the falls. They're like every... It just never ends. They, they just keep falling. But now they are chasing and... Oh. Did it actually There's take a, a fall? Yet. Did it just keep, keep tumbling? Alley. Uh, did it actually take a fall for them to wake up, is my question. 20... Oh, I still have 43 kilometers left to go. And now they're chasing. Or they were chasing. Yeah, now they're riding hard. The escapees almost are at the finish already. And the peloton is actually catching me. What the fuck? Like, why? Why? <laughs> Nothing of this makes any kind of sense. Right, but Mechspec is still still doing pretty well. He is... Oh, stay tucked in the peloton. No. No, mate. I'm I'm doing well here. Let's, let's stay here. And just put it to 85. 
Okay. Now we definitely need to get into position. Max back. Up to the front. The riders are in a portion yes. above 10%. Uh, this is too hard for Max back. Uh, damn it. Uh, yes. Okay. We made it. We made it across. Wow. Okay. Uh, yes. We need to follow some sprinters here. Um, Dicky just doesn't have doesn't have the power though. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Um, what what a race! What a race! Like yeah. Let them ride ahead of thirty five minutes. What what is thirty five minutes among friends, right? All right. Twenty eight minutes. <laughs> oh, so much fun. Fourteenth on this stage. And um, well. Poor. Okay, yes. Overall poor. One point. Excellent. But at least we didn't uh, break our bones. Okay, that's pretty good. Tiredness 28%, freshness 100, fitness 96%. And we're off into the, the tour of, uh, no, Vuelta Ciclista a Catalunya. And <laughs> let's see how that goes. Uh, we have no race day condition uh, bias anymore. Tiredness just minus one, a very tight, very little downturn there. But I mean, we recuperated most of it. Let's have a quick look at our training here. We don't need that much break anymore after this, or maybe we do, um, because this one will really give us loads of uh, loads of tiredness. Uh, leader outsider okay cool uh, so at least we will have some teammates that will help us out at least that is what I'm hoping and oh yeah he looks pretty competent overall oh he's even more so so um, let's take him instead and the escapees have already formed three minutes on the clock and all easy going no severe chasing and Dicky McSpeck actually has a race day condition of plus one, meaning he has 81 in mountain. Ouch. Ouch. 81 in mountain and 79 in hill. Well, so far it has been a pretty easy day. And this climb does look weird. His first step super steep, a proper climb, and then no rest. And then a steady climb towards the top and a super, super long downhill. This little third category climb being in the way of the finish, but that's basically not really of any concern. And then it's too long, too flat for any puncher to really make a score here. Yeah, no, that won't happen. It's a sprinter stage. So basically, we just need to um, be able to hang on in this climb. And so far, it's looking pretty good. This is very steep, though. Yeah, they are pulling hard, but not insanely hard for... Oh, oh okay, they are pulling insanely hard, but Mixpec is the insanely good. And the mountaintop is reached already. Excellent, so my support is coming back. We're still riding super hard, though. If they're riding that hard up to the top, then uh, there might be quite a few riders dropping out of this group. Oh, my helper is almost dying already. Three kilometers away from the top of the climb. And there he goes. There he goes. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Two kilometers left to go. It's survival of the fittest. And wow, they are riding. The yeah, I think they are, they are killing the quite a few. Look at that. Many of my teammates are not with us anymore at the top of the climb. Already caught the escapees too. Yep, there we go. So how many will make it across in the first group? 99 riders. All right. So this mountain was basically just about short enough for most to hang on. Now we're getting into the flat bit. Uh, the escapees are still out there? Wow. Okay, 1 minute 30. Okay, final climb. Third category. It really yeah, should be pretty so easy, but you never know how attacks. hard they are going. Uh -huh, so far no one is dying. Okay, we are across. Mechspec is recuperating. And maybe he should be... Oh, wait a second. Do we have our sprinter guy with us? 
Yeah, we do. Oh, no, no, he's not the right one. Who was the, the guy who was decent at sprinting? Oh, he is pretty decent, actually. Okay, the sprint trains are forming. And it's 7.8 kilometers left to go. How fast is the finish? The answer is, well, the last two kilometers are not too fast, but the lead out uh, where the trains are positioning and stuff, uh, like five kilometers away from the finish, is pretty fast. But right now they're going super slow, so what happens if someone like McSpec attacks from here? Should we try that out? Or is this too ridiculous? Because they can ride hard if they want to. Um, yeah, well, let's let's give it a go. We are pretty far back, so maybe if if you stop supporting me for a sec. So if Mechspec goes at like 95, yeah, he's accelerating and attacking. No, he doesn't get away. He doesn't even get away. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh, is he getting away? No, they don't let me go now. Okay, stop it. Stop it. And I need more cover. Uh, wh Why did he drop back so far? Oh, what kind of sprint is this? No. No, it's a mess. It's such a mess. Okay, no, this just was a chaotic day overall. I don't know what, what was going on. What happened there at the end was that I couldn't get out to the side for the longest time. I was I was cased in and dropping backwards because I was trying to push outside. And there was no way to get out uh, towards the front either. So, yeah, that is kind of screwed in the sprint. Bad positioning on my end um, after this failed attack. Um... Yeah. Oh, that's fun. What the hell is going on here? Like, um, I, I can't advance. Why is that? Maybe for a restart? Oh, yes. Okay. There it is. Now I can continue. And today is the day of the horror show. We are definitely not among the favorites. <laughs> I think we will be last of all teams. Because this will not be going well whatsoever. Quick simulation it is, because uh, otherwise it will be even worse. So my bet is that we have lost 5 minutes on these 40 kilometers. And we have lost... Oh, we're not lost. Oh, only 3 minutes. And that isn't... Isn't that terrible? I expected worse. So... Of course, Team Sky has won. No, Cannondale has won. Movie Star second. Yeah, they have some good tram trailers in there. And Katusha, Bora, Sunweb. Okay, Astana. Um, yeah. Alright. It's not all that terrible. Oh, no. Why is Max Specknock not on here? They just disregard him. This is definitely a stage for Max Speck overall. Uh, if he gets a good day, that is. Uh, if we get a good day. We are 20... Oh, shit. 105th overall. Young Rider Jersey, 23. I think we can do better than this. Also, overall, the, the sponsor goal or the manager goal is that we come top 30. And I think Max Speck will definitely manage that. Beautiful sunny conditions. Sounds like Max Speck day. And beautiful currywurst. Yes, some beautiful currywurst. Um, stage... Top 15 of the classification of the stage. All right. Uh, finish top 30 in the overall standings. We can do that. And we are free element and teammate. What? Who is my captain? Okay. Uh, do we get anyone to protect us? I really hope so. Otherwise, I will be pissed. Come on. No, you, you fucking bastard. I'm not going to help you. Like, who's the best rider here? I have 81 Mountain. What do you have? Mass Bonnet. He, he can't even... He cannot compete. Look at this shit. Like, 67 and he's my captain. No way. Alright, I guess we are on our own then. 
Yes, indeed. Today we are completely on our own. Brilliant, team! Thanks so much! But let's take a quick look at the stage. So, is so, <laughs> so how you barely, barely see the peaks. Uh, yeah, it's not super steep, but lots of climbing. Much climbing, indeed. And what frightens me is this long lead-up, where potentially they are already riding so hard that we are losing some resistance. Because we are so shit in the flat, and this probably counts as flat. I don't know. Not so certain if it uh, like interpolates between a flat and hill um, when it's like somewhat slopey going upwards, or if it just takes the flat stat until you hit five percent. And then we see uh, towards the finish line, there's this little little bump once again so what I expect to happen is that there's a lead group forming which I will be joining um, like 10 riders left or something and they will make it across the final peak and then there's a sprint forward for the line where uh, someone gets a few more seconds on the others like 15 or so and I don't think it will be me because um, there are so many good riders in this field so many really good riders well, so far they are taking it mega easy. 130, 140 up here. And we are almost at the first step. So this was the scary bit I was talking about. And they didn't speed through. So yeah, for the rest I'm not all too worried because the um, descents are long enough to recuperate most of it. But now they are riding. And look at Mechspec. He's the, the only one who can uh, keep up properly. Everyone else is like at one... 75 roundish one ah oh, no the better riders are at 160 but Max Beck is at 145 it's like yeah easy guys easy what are you talking about he's even recuperating <laughs> while the others are dying that's great this climb yep so far so good percentages. now we're in the steep bit it's all going well we're the keeping up and we won't be concerned. splitting the off over the crest either the no that's all good Okay, there we are. So over the top, and Looks we like still have plenty and plenty of stall. stamina. And we actually did split off. Look at that. But they won't be uh, trying to finish this one off, I'm pretty sure. So they will rejoin in the in the downhill. But it's always good to be in the first group. Avoid these scary moments. Okay, next climb is starting. Another first category. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Depends, on, of course, on how they are riding. Uh, yeah, so far, I think 80 will do just fine. We are well positioned in fourth here. Some good riders up front, just pulling. My colleagues are dying once again. Oh, oh Mechspec is stuck. Mechspec is stuck. Don't get stuck, Mechspec. Damn inside. No, don't go too, too far to the inside. You get stuck again. Whew, okay. You got out of there. Didn't lose too much position. Now we're moving up to the front again. And we're still limited to 80. Now, fine. Now, now they are riding super hard. Look at that. They are all sprinting up this mountain here. And they are almost dead already. There's quite a bit more to go. It flattens out significantly though towards the top. But the best thing about this all is how much of our green bar we have left. That it determines our base speed level. Yeah, this is looking great. This is indeed looking great. We're almost at the top. Mechspec still has half his resistance left. And I think in the downhill we should get most of it back. The are the pack and now, wow, the my whole team is gone. Away. Look at that, they're all dead. Oh, the Nothing left in the tank. There will definitely be quite a split over this crest. And now we're in the proper downhill. And the yellow jersey is left behind. Not that that means much, because uh, that's mainly coming from a stage where didn't really matter but um, yeah let's see come on make spec get back all of your resistance faster faster the downhill is ending Whew. okay we got back most of it um, still a little bit more to go not much yes make spec you're doing well 
Look at that. Almost everything. Almost everything back. Whew, okay. This is a 12... Wow. It's actually a 12.5 kilometer long climb. And now they are moving super hard. What's going on? Holy cow, that was a fall. Um... Okay, let's try to take position up front, but that won't work if they are moving this fast. But they can't keep that speed up for all of the climb. Nine kilometers left. It does flatten out up to the top once again. Now, Maxpec, don't get stuck inside. Oh no! Uh, he's losing so much ground with this shit. Ah, why are you so fat, Maxpec? This is not in your, to your advantage, just getting stuck everywhere. They are trying to move super hard now. The riders are entering the last five kilometers uh, of the stage. Uh, now everyone is getting Watch stuck out. on the inside. The is falling behind. Uh, no, don't block me. What the fuck is going on? Let me out. Ah, shit. We need to move harder. Hey, move, move, move. Move, Max Beck. Okay, now we're back in the first group again. But they continue to move hard. How much more do we have? Um, yeah, we can afford to continue at 90. Now we're definitely back the in the first group. With Soler! Oh! We've had our run-ins with Soler. Uh, take position here. Are they attacking? Yeah, they try to. But we are almost there. That's good. Oh shit. Soler is going. Let's go at 90, maybe 95. There's this little... Uh, come on. Come on, go. Go, first group. Yes, we're in the first group. The question is, do we catch him? Um, That's a good this question. Well so, the, the escapees actually managed to tenacity. get the win. And now it's just 900 meters left. I think we have the exact amount of resistance and sprint capacity we need for this. Oh shit, we need to sprint now. Come on, expect Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Sprint, sprint, sprint! Go hard! Go hard now! <laughs> but 8th... 8th eight is not too bad. Right after, uh, right behind Snarek and Quintana. So... And Yuri?! Man! How did you manage that?! Oh, that's impressive, man. All right, I stand corrected. You are actually pretty good at this. What a day! Ha! Huh, look at him! This little climber dude is actually the new tour leader now. And Yuri is... Well, okay, he lost two minutes on him. <laughs> and he was just uh, eight seconds in front of uh, Max Soler, who escaped earlier. We lost tw two minutes ten. Mm, not bad. That's not bad. Let's see the general. We moved up to 16th uh, place. And, and quite a few in front of me. Still, of course. We can't easily make up for the time trial losses. Three minutes. Look at that. Three minutes. If we were better at time trial, well, that we would be up there. But overall, pretty good, I would say. Let's see what the boss has to say. Yes, yes. 16th. Very good. Uh, eighth, very good. Breakaway, nope, uh, bad. Okay, fair enough, plus 2%. And yeah, with this, I think uh, we call it an episode. Hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time.